Hey guys, welcome to my channel. And today I will review the Franken ROM for Redmi Note 4. So without wasting any more time, let's get started. So let's start this review with the customization options and you get all the customization options in the tab called the lab. So you get button customizations over here, which includes the hardware button. Then you get the gestures, which includes the three finger gesture, lock screen, double tap. In lock screen, you get the lock screen shortcuts and there is also an option to change the clock font. In the miscellaneous, you get the alarm blocker, wake lock blocker, app oops. Then you get the animation style, which is whenever you press the quick toggles, it will be uh, rotating or flipping. Then you get the Android P animation style. In navigation bar, you get the battery bar and the navigation bar. In notifications, you get the heads up, battery lights, notification lights, vibrate on connect, vibrate on disconnect. In power menu, you get just the uh, advanced reboot and all that. In quick settings, you get the brightness slider. Then you just get the quick setting customizations over here. In the recent panel, just the normal customizations. In the status bar, you get the uh, clock options, carrier labels, status bar items, battery icon. Uh, you also get the status bar weather over here. And you can also enable the Franken logo. And at last you get the screenshot. Over here you just can select whichever editing app you want to edit your screenshots. You also get the theming options under display color manager. Over here you can select light, dark or black and you also get the accent colors. So that is all for the customization part. Now let's talk about the performance and the battery life. So the performance is good. Okay, although there are some bugs, I will talk about them uh, later in this video. Now let's talk about the battery life. So battery life is fairly good. Okay. And by the way, I'm using the revolt kernel instead of stock kernel because of a bug that I will talk about. Just wait for a moment. So battery life is good. Performance is also good. But there are some bugs. Okay. So let's start with the bugs. So the first bug is in the settings menu. Let me show you. If you go to sim card. And if you select any sim card over here. And if you just wanted to change the color. If I select purple over here. And if I click OK. It will be not be. Uh, purple but it will be staying to its default color so that's a bug the next bug is if I double press when the device is sleeping um, like double tap okay double tap on the lock screen when the device is sleeping uh, the device will not wake up it takes a bit of time or it will not even wake up so that's the issue uh, the next bug is that the apps are getting post closed every now and then for example youtube app just force closes whenever i am trying to watch videos from uh, one video to another it just crashes so that's the issue then adm pro while downloading it crashes so there are some issues here and there since it is the initial build but i think whenever a new build is released it will be fixed and if you wanted to know more about this rom I will leave a link in the description about my article so you can read that as well so yeah there is nothing much over here this is uh, what I'll, i have to say about this rom thanks for watching and i will catch you guys in the next video